guys welcome back so today we're checking out the trailer for Far Cry 6 this is the official gameplay trailer now this one is a bit of a surprise I didn't know it was dropping today I wasn't actually doing any recording as you can tell I don't have my green screen up or anything I'm just here I am surprise I'm doing a trailer reaction we've even got the the washing machine on doing the laundry this morning so um yeah I don't usually do uh, trailer reactions or any recording when my wife has a day off we usually go and do stuff together However, she's decided to go walking up to the library today. She's got a book she wanted to collect, so I got 20 minutes. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do this reaction because, um, like I said, I, I'm surprised it was here. I didn't know it was coming. Uh, I love the franchise. I've been playing the Far Cry games from part four, I think. I, I've missed the heyday for uh, Far Cry 1, 2, and 3 were immensely popular. Um, apparently, Yui Bowl made a, a Far Cry movie, which I've not seen. Oh, I'm curious, but he doesn't really have a good track record for uh, making movies. So we saw uh, a trailer for this last year, I think. It's been a, it's been a few months since we we had an unofficial look at this thing, and they have used the, the likeness of Giancarlo Esposito, one of my favorite actors. He's in Breaking Bad, if you want a point of reference. But um, yeah, what I've seen so far does look pretty good. So without further ado, we're going to dive into this trailer. Everything's recording. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. That was like so loud, my ear, my eardrums just burst. Wapo, you listen. Rule 16. The Guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Man. Juan Cortez. Looking good. What do you think gave it away, Wapo? <laughs> As you do. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can whistle. Can you whistle? Wow. Oh shit. Not bad, Danny. It's an attack rock. Just getting started. Rule number one. A good guerrilla is a hidden guerrilla. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. We lead our operations in secret camps across the country. Here, guerrillas live, train, and plan. Small pack. We go in, grab our people, kill whoever gets in our way. By smuggling in supplies, we'll add some piss and fire to our movement. You got that right. Camp chef, black market dealers. Wow. These safe havens got everything a guerrilla needs. Even do-it-yourself vehicles. This looks so good. You're gonna love it, Danny. Rule number two. A good guerrilla masters their environment. Wow. This land is your home, Danny. I'm sure you know every inch of it. From the bloodthirsty jungles, postcard shorelines, the dead end towns, and our friendly capital city. The attention to detail is astounding. How you is up to you. Good How you get around is up to you. you. Play it safe. Take our secret paths carved in the dirt of old revolutions. Hola, Dani. How you doing? Wow. Or take a risk and operate this was very the serious in tone. Not from the crocodile. Weapons to blend in. Bribes. What do you got? Mm -hmm. Sabotage. Interceptions. You don't always need to be a loudmouth, Danny. Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How do you huh? think El Presidente funded Maria's new face? Okay. Okay. No Rule number three. I'm loving the vibe. Fucked up situations call for fucked up solutions. Hey, he's not here. You expect the reinforcements? I got news for you. <laughs> an army of one against an army of thousands. When shit gets real, we make use of whatever we have. We call that resolver. That means absolutely everything from sardine cans, oh. goddamn batteries, to old motorcycle engines have been built into equipment. What? Sick. <laughs> very unique. Dead CD weapons. player. Oh, it's gonna be stuck in my head all day now. Oh, playlist. <laughs> now we're fucking talking. This 
the Supremo backpack. Whoa, man. Handcrafted by yours truly. Each one will make you feel and fight with the power of a goddamn guerrilla army. Give me lip. I'm a bitch in the yard. Get a stick, make a switch. I am This looks so cool. You and I both know. You want this. For a guerrilla. For a guerrilla that shit my pants rush of an ambush. The taste of sweet victory. Have you freed your people from tyrants? It's... It's fun. It's fun. Damn. Oh, and the final rule. A good guerrilla always brings a friend along for more support. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, look out. We didn't see any Giancarlo Esposito in that trailer at all. All new Xbox. I'm taking that footage was taken from an Xbox Series X um, because it looked very good. I mean, I'm going to be picking up picking it up on the, the PS5. I'm lucky enough to have a, a PS5, and yeah, the games look amazing on it. It's they're, they're they're very very pretty. I just did the reaction to um, Horizon Horizon Forbidden West. I keep going to I keep going to say Horizon Zero Dawn. It's just ingrained in my head. But that was just a graphical showcase for the, the next-gen consoles that look gorgeous. And this, too, looks very, very pretty. Like, the, the attention to detail is just insane. Like, the, the faces, like, the, the realism with the expressions is just insane. The attention to detail with all the weapons, the, the rendering of, of the real-world environment. God damn it, it looks so good. I did kind of say it looked um, kind of serious in tone as well. Like the previous Far Cry's have definitely had their, their tongue in, in cheek. It's been, you know, fun and, and campy, very lighthearted for, for the ones I've played. This does feel like a real world situation um, and kind of serious in tone, but they were dropping some some funny jokes in there along the way. So, and creating the CD player weapon was, was sick. So there's definitely going to be moments of humor throughout. Uh, saw a bit of saw a bit of blood, so I'm not going to hold back on the violence. But uh, yeah, as a, as a first person shooter, it looks good. I mean, the Far Cry franchise is uh, popular for a reason. I mean, they get it right. So yeah, that looks sick. I think it's going to have like a very serious um, story as well, from what I've heard. But yeah, that looks cool. What do you guys think? You excited for Far Cry Six? You a fan of the franchise? You've been playing it for years. Tell me if um. If I'm missing out on, on those first three games, I hear part three was the pinnacle, or, or was it part two? I'm not sure. One of them was great. Have you seen the movie? Should I watch the movie? Uh, I don't feel like I want to, but if you recommend it enough, I probably will. But anyway, yeah, so please uh, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, leave a like, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.